Allegations of censorship and a flurry of resignations. Bad blood causing turmoil at the Orem City Library. That's the focus of tonight's Two News investigation. It all centers on claims that the city's new city council is behind it. Two News investigative reporter Chris Jones has been digging into the controversy at the usually tranquil library. But she walked in and saw that banner and it just stopped her in her tracks. When Amy Carr and daughter Ava, who is black, entered the Orm City Library in February of 2021, they saw this banner celebrating Black History Month. Carr, who is also a volunteer at the library, says it was so important to Ava, who is not around many black children. She walked into the public library and felt, sorry, she felt acknowledged. However, Carr says, over time, these cultural displays seen at the library for the last two years evaporated. I was told that all National Heritage Month book displays and posters would be discontinued. With Rita Christensen coordinated Heritage Month displays in the library's children's section. She says last year, the library's director, Shar Crozier, ordered them banned. She said, we don't want attention on the library. We don't want city council to focus their attention on us. No, no one on the city council knows what you're talking about. Mayor David Young has long argued that the council did not order the ban or influence the library director. In our search of the public records, we could not find any written directives from the mayor or the city council demanding that the displays be removed. But we did find some soft pressure being applied by at least one city council member to the former director of the library. From the Library Advisory Committee. And Two News Investigates found this video of a September 2021 City Council meeting. Two books I checked out. Council member Terry Peterson grills library staff, including Crozier, over an LGBTQ book he says he found on a library display. Bennett has a, a section about um, it's pretty much pedophilia. Is that appropriate in the children's section? We, we do have a title review process. And well, uh, the thing is, like... Also, I've listened to a conversation that Christensen recorded with Crozier. In it, Crozier suggests she felt pressure from the council and that the displays had to go because, quote, this kind of advocacy does not work with this kind of council. In the wake of the library controversy, Crozier retired, and the city shook things up, moving the library under the umbrella of the Rex Department. You know, I definitely have my picks. But and put its director, Bryce Merrill, in charge. How are you qualified to run the library when you've been doing swimming pools? You have a management uh, professional who is charged and tasked with helping more residents access their resources in the city. He is now tasked with creating a policy that will dictate when, where, and how Heritage Months will be recognized at the library. Direct you had direct or indirect pressure or suggestions from members of the council I think regarding how the policy is going to look. You've seen the same city council meetings that I have. We know how certain members feel and we empower them to feel and express that there. I have not felt that there's been anything inappropriate behind the scenes to force me to have to do something. You quit because of all of this. Absolutely. In January, Christensen resigned from the library. She fears her former colleagues are still feeling pressure. Was there a sense of fear among employees? Oh, absolutely. There's fear right now. We reached out to the mayor, Councilman Peterson, and Councilmember Millett. We also reached out to the former director. We wanted to ask the mayor and the council members if or how much pressure they may have applied to the director outside of board meetings. None of them commented for the story. For Two News Investigates, I'm Chris Jones, KUTV 2 News.